I'm going to record how I learned the lambda function. What I'm going to do is using this table or name this table as source one. I'm going to insert a new column. The new column is called new and it equals to something that I'm going to do on the close column. I put a dot apply and then what I'm going to apply is inside a bracket like this one. I'm giving it a condition. The condition will be if x is more than 22,500, that means x in each row of close. This one, this one, this one, and this one. If each row in close column is more than 22,500, the x, that means each row value, will equal to x times 2 and it will be displayed on the close column. Otherwise, if x is not more than 22,500, I'll just return x. It will be like this, just like this one. I'll just multiply the close by 2 and I can change, that's the lambda, I can change if it has to be less than 22,500, shift enter. Then I'll see this. Only these two records of close will be multiplied by 2. The other close will remain the same. Why I use the lambda function? Because I don't know how to use the for loop. That's why I use this apply and lambda function. So I just conclude. If you want to add a new column. So a new column. Let's say it's like this. The new column. I just assign it, so I use an equal sign. Just a new column equals to the old column. Oops, I got the typo. Old column and then dot apply something. And then I use lambda lambda. <laughs> lambda x, that means each number, each row value. And I just put x and it will return the returned return key typo returned result right the returned result will be x times 2 something like that and then i can add a condition if x is more than 100 otherwise else i just return x over 2 something like that that's how i remember the lambda function okay so thanks for watching bye bye